What's going on guys? This is probably my most requested video ever. I mean, it's in every video I posted for the past few weeks, which is amazing. I'm glad you guys are liking it. Well, I'm here to show you how easy it is to color correct the clips I use. But first off, what I'd like to do is render out all of my raw files to Apple ProRes 422LT, which if you want to see a tutorial on that, please leave them in the comment section below. So after I get my clips rendered, I transfer all of my rendered files to Final Cut Pro 7, and if you are using Final Cut 10, you'll be fine, it'll be the same thing, it'll just look way different. And so once you have your file saw set up, drag the clips over to your timeline and what I like to do is I usually scrub through the clip and make sure everything looks good. I don't usually drag the whole clip in, I usually cut things before putting into the timeline, which is what you see I'm doing right now. Then what I'm going to do next is grab the color correction off of the filter list and drag it on top of my clip. And as you see, nothing is happening yet, and here's the magic, no pun intended coming up. I use a plugin called Magic Bullet Mojo by Red Giant. Now once I apply it on my clip, you'll see the color correction right away. Now this single plugin alone is so powerful, it may be the only plugin you'll need for simple shorts or videos like this. So when you double click the clip, go to the filter setting and you'll see the color correction filter and the mojo filter as well. Now once you activate the mojo plugin, now you can get these sliders that you can mess with, control how much mojo you want, or how cold or how warm you want the clip to look like. So it depends on you and what you want, and you have endless possibilities with this one single plugin. And now messing with the actual color correction filter, this is where I give my clips a proper exposure. I can control how light the clip can be or if I want it a bit darker. Which what you're seeing right now, I am trying to make it a little bit darker just to get that cinematic feel. And like I said earlier, I'm going to give this clip a pretty cinematic feel like always, giving it a slight warm and a slight coolness to it with an ever so slightly greenish tint to it. And you're going to see the end results in a later video. Now if you have any other questions about the plugin or need some tips with this plugin, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible, and also if you're not following me on Twitter that's usually the best way to reach me. And so that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys like this quick video on how I color correct my videos. And if you want to see some tests of the ultra wide angle lens and the color correction, click this video right here. And don't forget to like and subscribe as it will help me make more videos like this and more awesome content in the future.